Hello everyone, my name is Ryan, I am a Trinity Order man who's been on placement with you for a couple of weeks and I've been asked to do a thought for a day. And this week I'm thinking about joy. Now, as I've been reflecting and thinking of joy, I've been comparing it to happiness. And what I've been thinking and reflecting on is that joy and happiness, while similar, cover two very different points. Happiness might be something that gives me happiness, usually my sport or my hobbies. But something that gives me joy is usually found in a relationship. The people who give me the greatest joy are those I love and care for, my family, my friends. Those people fill me of joy because they enjoy being with me. The joy I feel is because they want to be with me. And the same is probably true for you. A joy that is out of a relationship isn't based on whether I'm feeling happy or good that particular day. I might be feeling angry or sad or even annoyed, but joy is because a person, or indeed God, wants to know us and does know us and loves us and takes joy from us purely because of who we are. The Christian joy that Jesus wants for us isn't based out of something we do or out of who we are. True joy, the joy that Jesus gives, is based simply out of God's joy of us that God enjoys being with you and I. It isn't based on something we do or whether we're feeling particularly holy or not holy. True joy, the joy that Jesus gives, is joy simply because God enjoys us and we feel a part of that joy when we realise how much God enjoys us. Not because of something you or I have done, but because God enjoys us. This week, I encourage you to read uh, John 15, uh, that book of St. John, where he talks about Jesus as the true vine. And in that, Jesus asks and says to us all, As the Father has loved me, so I love you. I tell you these things so that my joy may be in you. In that, Jesus wants us to feel the joy that the Father takes in us. That he enjoys and loves us purely because who we are, our identity in him. So this week, whether you have a bad week or a good week, whatever it looks like, remember the joy that you have because God enjoys and loves you. Thanks for listening.